I'm Mel Blatt. Hello, this how's... This is my dog Crystal. Hi. Hello, Crystal. Hi. <laughs> At the moment, what have I been up to? I've not been doing too much. I'm quite a lazy person, so... Uh, um, musically, I've been working with Christy Angelis, which I've really enjoyed. Um, and so bits and bobs, been DJing a little bit, and I've been partying quite hard. Hence, uh, lots of makeup on the face. What sort of music do you play in your DJ set? Um, depends where I'm playing. Um, I play uh, a bit of house, a bit of R&B, hip hop, um, whatever I'm really into, sort of old school. A bit of soul and funk as well while I'm at it. Dance music I got into about three or four years ago, really. Um, and I'd never even really considered it in my... It had never really been part of my life at all. And through my sister, um, who sort of spent a, summer, a season in Ibiza... I'd been to Ibiza a few times before, but never sort of clubbed it or anything like that. And I'd never really done clubbing or anything like that. And then, uh, yeah, she showed me the, the sights of uh, San Anne and the West End, and I was hooked! <laughs> And did, uh, when did you start learning how to DJ? Um, well, luckily, my our, our old All Saints producer, Carl Gordon, KG, is a DJ. So, um, but basically, I was. But it was even as recent as getting into computers. I never really had a computer, touched a computer, used the internet or anything up until a few years ago. And so, when I got my iTunes sorted, and then I got my iPod sorted, and then I'd go around, I go you know, forever out at parties and stuff and sometimes, you know, you get really drunk at a bar and you're allowed to play your iPod and I would and then people would dance and I'd be like, great, and then I'd go, oh, I kind of wouldn't mind seeing if I can do this properly. Not that I can do this properly, but I'll give it a good go and uh, that's, yeah, that's how I sort of got into it. Do you do any sort of file sharing or illegal downloading? No, 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 no. I'm an artist, so I know how what that's like. And, you know, if you, if you want something bad enough, I think, you know, you should... You should pay for it, why not? The way that the industry works today, I mean, the, the way the industry has, ever, has always worked, has always been not in favour of the artist. Um, I think, you know, you can get really deep on it, and that's sort of why I had to take myself out of it a bit, because if you, if you actually enjoy making music and you, you've got some sort of morality when it comes to, I don't know, just sort of the, the money involved anyway... I think, I mean, I, you know, once you've, when you've got the money, you like the money, it's nice to have a nice flat, it's nice to have all these things, but in reality, if you're going to be an artist, whether it's paintings, you know, um, music, uh, acting, whatever, these aren't necessarily jobs that should, um, that should... Um, be driven by... Money. Yeah, be driven, be, be driven by, by huge sums of money or, lu or luxury or, you know, wealth. You should be doing it purely for the love of it and word of mouth and then and saying that, you know, I like a bit of Gucci as much as the next girl. So, but I think when it becomes part of, you know, you've got to pay your mortgage by it and stuff, that already so it distorts anything that that you could, that any arguments that you have, whether it's record companies get too much money, artists should get more money, promoting things, sticking a price tag on something that you've made. You know, it, it all becomes a bit blurred, so I don't think it's an argument anyone can win unless you just say, well, I'll do it for free because I enjoy doing it and get a proper job if yeah. you want, you know. Uh, out of all the All Saints songs, I've, and out of all the All Saints, um, I was always the most troubled purely because I only ever really liked the B-sides, the album tracks, the ones that never got on there, the, really, the ones that would never have sold were my favourites. So whenever we brought out a single, I was like, oh, I can't believe we're bringing this out, so, uh, you know. So I was really annoying. So to have, I mean, I can appreciate other people loving them. And I have my moments where I go, actually, yeah. But I always found it quite difficult to digest the fact that we had to compromise and do so many things on so many levels in order to be as successful as we were. Yeah, the third album was, was n not, I mean, we had fun doing it and it was exciting for a time. But again, I mean, you know, we signed a deal without make, having made, a, you know, not one note of music. We were signed purely for, on the revival, you know, and I don't know, it just, it, it never sat well with me, so I could never really give it my word. I think it's pretty much over. I mean, everyone says never say never and, you know, you just don't know, but... I, I can't see, I can't see anything. I think, you know, I, I think it needs to be at least slightly relevant 
um, in order for us to sort of regroup and make new music and, and do it in a way that is not led, driven by money or... <laughs> yeah. Love Box is coming up and I'm going to be doing a tiny, tiny performance because I'm not the most confident of artists. I love singing in a, in a dark studio and I can spend days and days and days but having to get up on a stage in front of loads of people and sing, it's been a long time. So, um, yes, I'm going to be doing it um, quite where you go um, with Chris, hopefully just in the DJ booth next to him, sort of hiding my face with my hair and singing along to the track. But the track is amazing. I just can't wait. I'm so excited for people to hear it. For once, it's something that I'm really into. and It's, it's definitely in the dance genre, but what kind of dance category you could put it in, I really don't know. It's just a really cool song and it's quite raw and it's quite to the point. And it's a good group. Come to Love Box and watch. And it's the where I'm performing is um is in the circus tent. And circus is an amazing night that um, one of my good friends Jody Harsh puts together. And you, even if you don't want to come and see me sing, you should just go there for the madness of that of uh, her and her her lot because it's a lot of fun. And uh, the trannies definitely rule that scene there. To us, Crystal, anything? Crystal, anything we to can say? do. What, Crystal, have you got anything you want to say? I'm Crystal, hi. Have you heard the new song? I love it. <laughs> My mum's great. <laughs>